Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're going to have a look at the pricing structure on the Tesla Supercharger network. Now, if you didn't know, a few years ago, Tesla opened up sections of its supercharger network to other EVs apart from Tesla. Uh, these include all of the V4 chargers, the new ones that don't have the little hole in the middle, and some of those, those V3 chargers as well. And they're actually in some good locations, including this one at Frankly Services on the M5. So at the moment, I've actually got a Tesla Model 3 on loan for a review that's coming soon to the Interface Cars channel. And while I've got it, I wanted to take the opportunity to look at the pricing structure and just sort of give some clarity on how much Tesla drivers pay versus guest users versus the membership network as well. So what you can do is pay £8.99 uh, to get cheaper rates. And actually, as it happens, those are actually the same prices as what Tesla drivers pay. You might just assume uh, that Tesla drivers get special rates, which they do kind of, but they, they are just the same rates as what you pay for if you are paying for the membership. Uh, again, that's £8.99 a month and then £90 a year. That's correct as of September 2024. Um, so what I've got here is I've got two phones. I've got one with a my account that's got a, uh, a membership active on it, another account that's just got a guest account on it, so it's got no membership. That's going to give us the raw prices. And then the Tesla screen itself, which you'll see here as well, has just got the Tesla prices, obviously. So what we're going to do now is look at the prices for the supercharger location at Franklin Services. That's where we are now, just charging the car. And this one says, uh, the 16 here, seven available. It says 43 pence a kilowatt hour between the hours of 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. And if we look at the, the two phones I've got here, so let's look at Frankie Services on here. So this one doesn't have any membership prices on it. It's 56 pence a kilowatt hour. Uh, that's between the hours of 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. Between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m., the Tesla says 51p, and the guest users say 66p, and at the end, down to 56 and 43. And then if we look at the one that's got a membership, it says... Um, get the exact same prices as the Tesla itself. So I just assumed before I even drove a Tesla, because you can't actually find out the prices if you don't own one, um, that the prices would be slightly more for the membership, but obviously in the middle between the two. But as it happens, it is actually the exact same price. Uh, and we can check a few more if you want to as well. So this is a motorway services. So the prices might be a bit different. So what we're going to go and do now is check one of the busiest charges in the country. And that is actually Tottenham. Uh, Tottenham. So Tesla... Uh, dealership in Tottenham. So that one is for Tesla owners, that's 39p a kilowatt hour. And you can see actually there's 12 available, but if we go on a different app, it will show just one. Um, so that says 39p a kilowatt hour between the quiet hours, 51p and 39p. On the guest profile, it's actually quite expensive. Uh, so we look at the Tottenham one now. This is definitely the highest I've seen a Tesla charger um, at, at all. So this is 80p a kilowatt hour. Uh, that's 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then up to 90p between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. and then back down to 80 later. So definitely want to encourage you to either get the membership or just don't use them if you haven't got a Tesla, which is fair enough. Um, and if we look on my membership one just now, you can see there's one available. So the Tesla screen's a little bit out of date uh, in terms of data. So it's, yeah, it's um, actually there's, there's zero now. <laughs> so as of recording, it's just changed down to zero. So you can't even get get a space now. Um, but as, the, as you can see, that's the same price. That's 39p. Um, for the membership again the same as the, the car itself and then 51p uh at the peak hours so it's it's quite a massive saving especially at that charger there uh, we are going to look at a few more um it is worth bearing in mind that the ones i'm looking at here are open to all evs hence why we can check the prices on the phone but there's one in london i know that isn't open to all evs and that is this one here and that is uh ooh. That is this one here, sorry. Uh, London, UK, Park Royal. And you can see here, we've got four different levels of the pricing. So you've got, actually got 35p, 51p, 49p, and 32p, which is actually quite a good price between midnight and 4am. But we can't even check those on the apps because they're Tesla only. Uh, so you do get some quite nice prices. I have seen some good prices as well. So if we check, um, again, Birmingham, this one is Briley Hill. So that's Mary Hill, sorry. Uh, 39p for Tesla drivers. 46p and 39p down there and it does there are some nice prices actually uh, if we look at Solly Hill again similar sort of stuff Birmingham Central which is that one is Tesla's only I believe that's 37p down there and then the, one of the largest ones in the country uh, 43p for Tesla drivers so it is if you see a lot of Tesla drivers just queuing you can you know why because um, they're not going to use the other ones because they are double the price usually uh, so it's quite an interesting thing to look at um, how much Tesla drivers pay and it is quite um, again, you can't even find out if you don't own one, so it's quite, quite, a, quite a good, good thing to look at. 
So that's been a look at the Tesla pricing system for Tesla owners themselves, guest users, and also if you've got the membership. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing to the Interface Cars. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.